Do you not want my offer? I don't not want it. But I'm a stopgap for it. Yeah, you're the girl that didn't get the proposal, but don't worry, <laughs> stay, stick around in case the first one says no. I thought I made you a very fair offer when these guys didn't give you the value you deserve today. Take it or leave it. Hello, my name's James Ambler, and I'm the proud owner of Paparazzi Proposals. We are asking for $250,000 for 20% equity in our company. I've been a paparazzi photographer for the last six years and now use these sneaky skills to help capture that amazing question that every girl wants to hear. Paparazzi proposals came about four years ago when I proposed to my wife. And after we started to tell friends and family about our engagement, the first question that everybody asked was, how did he do it? It's got me thinking. It would have been so cool to have some pictures of me down on one knee. So I started looking into it and researching to see if there was anybody or any company out there offering this unique service. And there wasn't. So, in June 2011, we launched Paparazzi Proposals and have spent the last two years marketing and branding this unique company in America. So, Sharks, just leaves me with one very big question that I need to ask you. I'm rather nervous about it. <laughs> Which one of you Sharks will marry Paparazzi Proposals? <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. To have a memory of your proposal is great. The problem that I have is your valuation. I don't see where you need the 250000 That's my problem. Okay. Because I don't think that you need to put a lot of money into this business at all. For me, to give you $250,000, I would want a lot bigger piece of the pie. Because I feel like I could show you how to take this business and quickly get it off the ground without needing a big staff. So I will make you an offer. Okay. I'm offering you $250,000, but I'm gonna want 50%, because I see us winding up being equal partners. James, your business isn't even worth half a million right now, and yet you just got that offer. Are you out of your mind? It, it doesn't make sense that you wouldn't take that offer. I'm very humbled, because this has been my heart and soul for two years. This has to work. But part of the reason this has to work is because I have to believe and trust in myself. I have to hold my head high, and I have to respect myself. 50% equity, it's just not gonna work for me. So if there's a negotiation that we can maybe start to do a little dance. Well, the negotiation works with you making a counter offer. I think there's a different way to structure it, Laura. Oh, no question you think there's a different way to and structure it. And so let me explain <laughs> what would be more interesting for your money, because I'm very, mar oh, mari man. very married to mine, and we we're very happy you together. You know how you know it's a bad deal? No, it's Kevin gonna be a great talking. deal. Yeah. Do you wanna hear it or not? I sure, why not? It. Okay, I'll go in with Lori and I'll slightly change the structure, <laughs> all right? We will give you $50,000 for a third of the business, all right? That's the equity piece. And we'll loan you $200,000 as you need it. That way, we can actually make a deal that makes sense, because your deal doesn't. Well, you know, I rarely agree with Kevin, but okay. I think that was a good creative Thank new offer. Are you interested in partnering? I Same am thing. interested in partnering with him. So he's valuing your company yeah, at that. less than the cash you were asking for coming in. Correct, my friend. Let me call your wife. <laughs> um, can I just talk before you contact my you wife? You may. Yeah, thank you. Um, Robert, you were on the fence. I'll give you 100000 under the same terms. It's a very clever way to structure the deal. Thank you. So I'll give you 100000 for one third of the business today and loan you the rest as you need it to expand the business. So I've got a counter offer for you. Laurie, partner with Robert and we'll do a deal. I think Laurie brings so much to this table. Do you not want my offer? I don't not want it. I would just like to see what Laurie thinks. Do the deal with so Laurie. my Robert, offer isn't good enough Laurie. unless I bring Laurie in. No, 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 not at all. But I'm a stopgap for it. Yeah, you're the girl that didn't get the proposal, but don't worry, stay, <laughs> stick around in case the first one says no. I'm, I'm not good at playing second fiddle. No. I thought I made you a very fair offer when these guys didn't give you the value you deserve today. Take it or leave it. Thank you. I will give you an answer very shortly. Oh! James, I'll answer. give you an answer right now. I'm out. So, all roads be as they are leading back to Mr. Wonderful yet again. So now you're back to the original yeah. offer, $50,000. Your offer's ridiculous. Additional 200000 as a loan, as you need it. 
Yeah, that's horrible. Then why don't you make an offer? James. Instead of insulting oh my, my offer. I don't want him to make a stupid answer. mistake. Why are you saying he's making a mistake? Because he I think he's making a horrid mistake if he does 50K here. for then that's make fine. him a better offer. Enough! Calm down. What do you want to do? This is like a marriage proposal. Would the deal go down to 30%? We have a deal. Because I know it's 3.3%, but I came in here 30%. We're good with that. We're good with that. Done. Who wants the ring? <laughs> we get the ring. Wow. I'll give it to my what? shark head partner. I don't get that. Thank you for marrying paparazzi. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Really. I think I'm going to cry. Thank, thank you. you very much for taking the time. Thank you. I really appreciate Good it. Thank Good you. Luck. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You've come to the right place.